What is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. And, as you can see on the screen right now, my heartfelt apologies. Had about 130 people watch this exact video. The last time I uploaded it, it was a version that was not completed. The completed version was sitting on my computer safely, tucked away, so no one could watch it. And everyone else got the version that had no voice on it. Sorry about that. But here it is, nice and complete, with some alterations. I had some concerned uh, viewers, and as as I always try to uh, get all the information I can. So we're gonna get right into it. This is this is on the 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 bird shaman. Bird shaman's a three star. She gets all the way to six stars. Third awakening. She gets pretty powerful as she moves up. Uh, for a three star. She's not she's not used a lot, but she does have a lot of good skills uh, Probably the red bird shaman is the strongest her first skill is called the flying hawk uh, I, th I believe all three colors have the flying hawk the flying hawk is uh, It attacks one person and there's a 50% chance that it can damage over two rounds Red second skill is the hawk group now. This is the one that you'll see her kind of Elevate into the air and then you'll see a massive amount of hawks go and and just uh, Pumble everyone on the other side and what it does is it is not only an attack. It's also a debuff The the attack itself doesn't do a ton of damage, but there's some interesting ramifications from the attack We'll get into it a little more later. Um, it does uh, have a 50% chance to lower the defense of the enemies all the enemies for two rounds if they have a buff on them already, then it automatically lowers their defense for two rounds. Uh, her third skill is called Guardian Hawk. It summons a giant hawk that will get rid of all the debuffs on your team, for everyone on the team. And will get you at least 15% hit points back, health points back for the team. And if they have more than one debuff, I believe it does more than 15%. So the more debuffs, the more health points the team gets. Going into the six star... Stats get pretty good, over 5,000 hit points, over 400 in attack. So she's not 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 weak. So you can probably beef her up a little bit with with attack percentage on one of her war patterns. Also at the six star third awakening, she gets the the hit percent. She has the hit uh, leader skill, which I, I can't remember and I can't read it. I think it's 26 percent. It's over 20 percent. <laughs> I suck and hits a, and hit is a rare leader skill and it's one of my favorite I, I think uh, I think resistance and hit are probably the best two in my opinion everyone uses attack but I think resistance and hit is really helpful moving right on to the blue the blue is a support partner featuring the ability to heal the entire team and again m maybe not a ton of damage but still useful and lots of hit points on blue, so you can keep her alive for a long time. She does have the leader skill of uh, of attack, right from the three star, and I, I believe it's twenty percent. You'd think I'd be able to read it with the giant pink letters there, <laughs> but I missed it. <laughs> Moving on, blue bird shaman has the inspire legion skill. That means that if the blue bird shaman survives the, the partner battle and remember if you're in a player versus player battle your partners will battle their partners first and whoever survives whichever partner survives will buff or uh or debuff the uh you, either your army or their army and the the blue bird shaman will actually uh buff the shaman and that's a plus 30 remember three stars do 30 uh, i believe four stars do 40 five stars do 50 on on the troops and they're all specific troops based on their colors first skill i believe is the same skill on all three it's flying hawk and you'll summon a, summon a flying hawk and attack one enemy with its sharp claws 50 percent chance to uh do damage over two rounds second skill is called mark this is the, you'll summon a giant hawk and that will mark and attack the enemy it will also dispel all buffs on that enemy with a 75% chance that it will prevent the enemy from receiving buffs for one round and that may be a, a kind of a short period 
but they may re receive a very important buff. It's, it's odd the way it happens. They always seem to get you at the best time. Going into six star, you can see that she definitely has the best hit points out, or health points out of the out of the whole group. Uh, her health points are at 6,500, so it's way ab above, uh, way above green and, and a little above red. And she's had, she's had the uh, the leader skill ever since the beginning. At six star third awakening, she, blue bird shaman gets the holy hawk of the wind, and that summons a gu guardian of the hawk clan. To increase the team's action bar by 20%, it also incre increases the attack and defense for the team for two rounds. Uh, this reminds me a little bit of the Earthquake, and I've said this in a bunch of different videos. Uh, I guess everything reminds me of the Green Demon Killer's Earthquake. I think that's the first one that I actually remembered what, what it actually did. Moving into Green, probably the weakest of the three, but maybe the strongest leader skill has resistance for the leader skill. And um, I've said this in other videos, I'll say it again. If you are struggling with partners, against partners like the Blue Black Shaman, they come out, they'll, they'll have speed in the war pattern, they'll get the first shot in, uh, they, they will restrain you immediately, you'll, you'll all be spinning. Um, having a partner like the Green Bird Shaman can really help that. But first, her, her Legion skill is restrain. She does negative 30 to the enemies. enemies warriors if she survives the partner battle and then as far as her leader skill she has 20 percent resistance that means 20 percent of the time those nasty little uh debuffs that the other team does to you like the blue black shaman won't work so pretty handy leader skill her first her first skill is the flying hawk so that does make all three of them with the flying hawk and just to freshen you up on that that is attacking one enemy with a 50% chance to deal damage over the course of two rounds or one extra round. Second skill is Hawk Groups. You'll summon a group of Hawks, attack the enemy with a 50% chance to reduce the enemy's defense for two rounds and a 100% chance to reduce their defense if they have any buff on them whatsoever. And keep in mind that with all three star partners, you will probably be able to feed them multiple other like three stars so you'll be able to get their skills up really high you'll be able to get the percentages up really high so that this is why the three stars are have, have such an advantage over you, uh, four and five stars to make into six stars because you'll be able to use them at a, a very high level whereas you may never get to um, add another uh, uh, blue nomad to your nomad and you'll have uh, 12 or 14 shamans added to your to your bird shaman Alright, so enough rambling and we'll move on. At six stars, not just over uh, under 4,000 hit points, so pretty weak on the hit points, but over 500 on the attack. Also, at six star third awakening, she gets a new skill. Her third skill is called the Judge Holy Hawk. It curses an enemy target, expels all positive, all positive effects from any buff. And it has a chance to put uh, Healing Forbidden on it, as well as Inertia, the only partner in the game that, that uses Inertia. Although I forget at this moment what Inertia is, but it's really, really good. You really want it. <laughs> so, War Patterns. Made some adjustments on the War Patterns after some uh, a couple concerned comments. And, and I can't say that I disagree, so I wanted to make a few changes. Uh, first, with the Red Bird Shaman. Because of the the hit point situation and the fact that they do a lot of all of them do debuffs, I believe that that four hippo and two core sack will definitely work well. Now I know this is going to be a pretty fast moving part, and you may want to pause if, you, if you're really interested. To, you know th this is a lot of kind of common um, kind of common stats if you've been uh, seen the channel before. But um, as far as the second through fifth attributes. Uh, look for defense, hit point percentage, cr uh, critical rate damage, hit percentage, uh, up, up top. Uh, left hand speed, attack percentage on the helmet and right hand. Was that fast enough for you? <laughs> Bluebird Shaman. Looks very similar. Remember her hit points are really high. So we're gonna, so instead of trying to work on something other than the hit points, we're gonna try to enhance the hit points a little more. So instead of adding attack percentage to the helmet into the right hand, we'll add hit point percentage to the helmet, and we'll add we'll actually add hit percentage to the right hand, and that will that will increase the, her capability to to debuff the other team, 
and speed on the left hand. And again, four hippo, two corsac. The corsac will also help with the hit as well. And uh, I believe that I have all of the second through fifth attributes the same uh, on all three because I mean I almost list them all. <laughs> Don't use plus anything. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using if you and I know people make this mistake. I made the same mistake, but avoid using plus uh, hit point and plus attack uh, as your first attribute. Make sure you have percentage. Uh, it makes a huge difference once you get it up to, to level 35 and level 40. Green Bird, Sh Green Bird Shaman. Going back to attack percentage on the helmet and the right hand. Speed on the left hand. I usually try to put speed on the left hand of almost all of the partners unless it actually hurts them. And if it, in very rare cases it hurts them. Because as you move up in the ranks in, in, in ranked matches, everyone has speed. So if you don't, then you're just behind and you, you're going to be you're gonna regret it. I'm uh, going to add an alternative war pattern. A very good point was made by one of our viewers that because of the the, the multiple hawk attack, especially by red, and I believe they all have one attack that they all have a multiple attack. I could be wrong about that. I wish I could remember everything today. Not, I'm struggling. But uh, Saya would work really well, especially if they're doing seven or eight hits per partner per attack and it's a group attack. I know that the hawks are all biting at her and it may only score one damage but there may be multiple hits in that damage uh, calculation so uh, might be a really good idea to use a uh, Saya war pattern along with the Corsac as far as the bird shaman's war patterns in the second through fifth attributes you're gonna hear me say this a lot if you watch a lot of these videos but the second through fifth attributes are vital, especially when you have partners that just don't have tons of natural strength. I believe the key to the war patterns is to have them match their strengths. So if you have, for example, blue, her strengths are their hit points. So make sure you have hit points up in her somewhere in her war pattern. Don't try to boost up her defense if her defense is really low. Go after what she's already doing well and increase it even more. We're going to try to exploit all of the positives of our team and exploit the negatives of the other team. Also, as mentioned before, don't use the plus uh, hit point or plus attack. The only plus you should have is plus speed because they don't have speed percentage. Now, something that I've done for a long time, and it's really helped me a lot, although I've had to use extra soul, is I've upgraded my war patterns before I've added them to my partner. Now I may know I know that I'm going to use attack percentage because I have attack percentage. I have cat attack percentage. I say I know I'm going to use it. So I have four of them, and they're all this show that first attribute the the uh, attack percentage. I may upgrade them to three to see what the second is. I may even upgrade them to six to see what the the the, the third attribute is. That way I can really uh, localize what I want for that specific partner. Also, easy tip for today. When you have the hippo war patterns, especially if you have four star elite war patterns where they have four or five attributes on it, I don't use any four star patterns in my actual heroes. I use all five stars, but you may want to use your four star hippos on your three stars that you're trying to make into four stars because you're not going to get a lot of soul for them. It may be a good way for you to uh, boost up your three stars uh, power to kind of help boost them through um, the upgrade process to get them to the four star. I think everyone should have the four star factory. Make all your three stars into four stars that you can. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can hear my voice. I know my voice is not any lovely thing, but it's much better than no voice at all and having wrong information flashing across the screen. Like the end of every video, we have Blondie and Berserker coming up next. Next video, we have Zera. And yes, that means Red Zera. Little sleeper for everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.